What's up everyone? This week has seen the game flipped on its head after Cameron became the head of household and made some shock nominations, leading to possibly a shock eviction this week. Plus, Suri has said something that has made quite a lot of us feel a little bit uncomfortable. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Alright folks, now right before we get started, please hit the subscribe button. I say it every single day because I really want you all to. It takes one second to just click it. Click it, click. I'll turn this into ASMR. Click it, 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 click it. What do y'all think? Spin off channel. Click it, click it, click the sub subscribe. Subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. And the one that's more important, even though we went off on a tangent there, is hit the like button. That one helps me get my videos out there more than you even can imagine. Sometimes the YouTube algorithm doesn't like me. So let's clap back at the YouTube algorithm and help me out by clicking the like button. It takes less than a second to just go boop. So please subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live on this channel, not the ASMR channel. Okay, question of the day now, folks. And as you can probably tell by the headline of this video, the spotlight today is on a situation regarding Suri. So today's question is regarding Suri. And it's a simple one, because I feel like if I ask this question on week two, the answers are going to be very different to me asking it now. You know, when we're nearly at the jury stage. Are you enjoying watching Siri play Big Brother? Because I've seen a range of comments from, I absolutely love it, it's so great to see Siri, like, and all the intricacies of her gameplay, because we only get to see 45 minutes a week on Survivor. Whereas, like, you can constantly watch Suri on the live feeds. Now, I've also seen some other people saying, you know, Big Brother doesn't suit Suri. She should stick to Survivor, even though she's kind of running the house, despite this week. Um, and I've also seen people saying, just, no, they don't like Suri. So there's definitely a range of comments all over the place. Um, so that's the question of the day, folks. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you enjoying watching Suri Fields play Big Brother 25? Now, if you can believe it, it's almost been two weeks since Matt won and used the power of invincibility. That went by so freaking fast in my eyes, um, to the point where we almost forgot about it. You know, after Red's gone, it's like, oh my god, that was, that was nearly two weeks ago? Wow. Anyways, he actually took Matt, took America aside and told America that he did in fact win it and used it on Jag. I mean, I, I guess at this point... There isn't enough to cause, like, blowback. Um, of course, it's always risky to say something like that because we all need to be reminded that it was a unanimous vote that sent Jag out of the house, meaning that everybody on that week wanted him to be the person to leave the house of the two nominees. So telling anyone is, of course, a risky game. Um... But he obviously felt comfortable enough to tell America, and we'll see if America's going to use that. I don't think America will, but it's definitely something to note, because when you give up something like that, that's definitely something we've got to talk about on the live feed update, because it's a big piece of information that almost like as soon as it happened became like the big house secret, you know, who's going to find out? Is Matt going to tell anybody? Is someone going to figure it out? No. Matt straight up told America, and I guess only time will tell if America's going to use that for her game. If you did miss it, Jared won the power of veto this week. And of course, he has gotten all buddy-buddy with Cameron. And I talked about this a lot yesterday, um, asking, why isn't Cameron targeting Jared? I do think it's a little bit of that, you know, bro mentality of, you know, the bros, we don't go for each other, you know, because, you know, we, we, we don't want to take out the other men. It's easier to take out the women. It's the energy it kind of gives in my eyes, at least, anyway. Um... I feel like I'd be similar to Corey in that house. I feel like I'd be bonding with, with the women more than the men. Um, I saw somebody put out a funny tweet that said, you know, the Achilles heel to Corey's game is the fact that he's not a misogynist, so he can't bond with the other men. Um, and it was so true, because I feel like Corey's definitely bonded with the women more. Um, and he's actually been one of the only people to call out misogyny from the dudes. So, yeah, anyways, I uh, it feels very just like, yeah, those bros stick together. Even though you targeted me last week, let's just take a woman out. It doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make sense. And, yeah, so Cameron and Jared seem to have gotten tight. And, you know, with Jared having the power of veto, I think he's realized that if he uses the veto, his mom's going on the block. And he doesn't want that. He doesn't want his mom to go home. So, therefore, it seems like he is almost set on not using the power of veto, meaning that Felicia or Izzy will leave the house this week. Not to jump ahead, because things can change, but folks, I would prepare yourselves to see Felicia evicted this week. 
which is kind of sad in my eyes because I think Felicia's fantastic. She's great TV and great entertainment. And when she's got her age, she's ballsy as hell. And I don't know, it's just, yeah, I, I like her a lot. And it's, it's going to be a shame to see her go this week. But guess what? This is Big Brother. And if this week's taught us anything, that the phrase expect the unexpected is definitely more alive than ever. And it's really going to send the game into, into another direction. It's a turning point in the game where all of a sudden... The steamroll's happening, it's gone, it's rolling, it's rolling, rolling. And then all of a sudden, somebody stood in front of the steamroll and went, Not today, steamroll. Not today, Mrs. Steamroll. I'm standing here, and I'm going to steamroll the steamroller's ass, you know? And so Cameron's done that now, and it's it feels like a turning point in the game. Um, but it feels like the collateral damage of this turning point is losing Felicia. I, it, it, it's not ideal in my eyes, but Big Brother's Big Brother at the end of the day, and Cameron won the power fair and square, and he clapped back when he was on the outs, and that's Big Brother for you. America planted the seed to Corey, and it's not what you're thinking, you dirty buggers. Um, she planted the seed to Corey. Corey hasn't planted the seed in America. I'm, I'm going to stop talking anyways. America planted a seed, a mental seed, not a physical seed, um, to Corey and said... Don't trust Sari and Izzy. And uh, America was one of the first people to figure out, like a few weeks ago, you know, a few like three, four weeks ago, she was one of the first people to figure out, hold up, they're tight and they're kind of running the house right now. We need to do something about it. You know, America had talked about, you know, if she'd won head of household, I think, in the pressure cooker, she would have targeted, she would have gone straight for the, the mafia in this house. Um... And she's planting those seeds with Kari as well. But speaking of planting seeds, which I can't believe is a transition today. But yeah, they continue to um, make out. Um, you know, the sheets are over them. Maybe a little maybe a little bump and grind. Um, uh, yeah. But no seeds planted yet, you dirty buggers. Okay, now for the headline of this video today. Um, Sari made a comment regarding Jag um, and said, you know, I don't. He, she said, I don't know if Jag's even 25. And she said, you know, when he takes that thing off regarding his turban, he looks scary. Come on, Sari. That's, no, that's not cool. That's that's just not cool. I, I, I think... That was incredibly insensitive of her. And I love Sari, don't get me wrong, I think she's a wonderful person. And and this isn't me saying, oh, Sari's disgusting. She's but it is me holding her accountable for that comment because that was not cool. That was a microaggression. And, you know, I know some people in the comment section right now are going to be going, oh, Tom, you're so soft. Um, actually, I'm not soft. I'm just calling out something that shouldn't be said. And if y'all have got a problem with that, then it probably means that you're part of the problem. You know, for those people saying, oh, stop being soft, that probably means that you'd be comfortable saying that kind of thing, you know? Because I know there'll be people out there who'll be going, oh, Tom, you're just so soft, you know, you're so beta. Do you realise how stupid y'all sound? Um. Anyways, yeah, I, uh, Sabri shouldn't have said that. That was, that was not cool to talk about that. It was, it was disappointing. I didn't expect it from Sabri either. I didn't, um, but you know, Nobody's perfect, um, and when when you're under that camera for for three months, you know you're bound to say some things that aren't necessarily appropriate. Um, and it doesn't mean that that person's disgusting or vile or over or cancelled or whatever. It just means. I mean, when you see repetitive behaviour from people like Jared, you know that's when you kind of go, hmm. Um, but Sari, I mean, like that was not cool of her. I don't think she's a shitty person or anything like that, but that was definitely a microaggression. That wasn't cool that she said that. And it's definitely important to hold her accountable. You know, Colin Jag scary for when he takes his turban off is just, you know, and also this is the first Sikh representation that Big Brother has ever had in 25 seasons. And to hear someone say something like that, the first time a Sikh's in the house, um, someone who's a Sikh is just disappointing. Um, and I think she she should have thought more before she made a throwaway comment like that, saying that he looks scary when he takes his thing off regarding his turban. Not cool, sorry. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, it's a wild week. It's an unpredictable week. And I guess I want to find out from you all who you'd 
rather see go home this week. If the nominees do stay the same and it's Felicia versus Izzy on the block, would you like to see Felicia sent out the door or would you like to see Izzy sent out the door? Call 0100 triple four and add 07 for Felicia and add 12 for Izzy. Lines close at 9pm. On, I'm joking. This is my Big Brother UK coming out because guess what, folks? Big Brother UK is back next month and I am so freaking excited. Um public vote we haven't had that in a while you know i've you know i've while i i love my big brother us and canada and all the strategy and alliances i think it's fantastic i do miss a good old-fashioned public vote where you boot out the person you like the least and you save the person you love the most and it's great and everybody gets to nominate every single week i'm looking forward to seeing it come back and it's uh it's been five long years you know i grew up watching big brother uk and it became like a part of me I wouldn't be TV Talks with Tom today. I wouldn't have been talking about Big Brother US if I didn't have Big Brother UK when I was growing up. And I don't want to get emotional right now because I can feel myself starting to. But Big Brother has been such a huge part of my life. It's made me who I am. It's how I've met my partner. It's how I have met all you wonderful people doing this channel. And I'm going to stop right now and save this for the end of the season because I don't want to get emotional right now. But anyways... Big Brother UK back next month. Very excited. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. I hope that everybody is having a wonder or has a, has had a wonderful start to the week and has a wonderful week. It's easy to forget the days when Big Brother's on. It's just so like it's just like oh wake up another day. Oh it's Big Brother Day again. It's more live feeds, more live feeds. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some more coffee after this, even though it seems like I'm buzzed right now. Anyway, folks, thank you so so much for watching. I appreciate you all so very much. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying positive, and staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. But in the meantime, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.